Emotional Literacy, a look at the importance and implementation of emotional literacy in secondary classrooms. Emotional literacy, or emotional intelligence, refers to an individual's ability to identify and understand their own emotions and the emotions of others. Furthermore, it involves the skills necessary to express and manage your own emotions in a healthy and productive way. Yale Center for Emotional Intelligence founder Mark Brackett posits that our emotions matter because they strongly impact our attention, decision-making, relationships, health, and performance. Emotions trigger hormonal responses within our brain that can have a profound impact on our ability to focus, process, and attend to new information. Without the necessary emotional skills to regulate our emotions, our brains are not able to carry out the important functions that are necessary for learning, relating, or thriving. The impact of negative emotional experiences such as trauma or chronic stress on cognitive development is well documented. In order to mediate these impacts, children and adults need strong emotional literacy skills. Unfortunately, not all children have a home environment that supports the development of these skills. However, by incorporating key elements of emotional literacy into the classroom environment, we can provide every student with the opportunity to develop and practice emotional literacy skills. Because early childhood is such an important developmental period, much of the focus of emotional literacy strategies has been on preschool and early elementary classrooms. However, these skills are equally important in the secondary classroom as adolescent brains are developing and social relationships are becoming more complex. This video seeks to identify strategies that are developmentally appropriate at the secondary level for helping students know their feelings, practice empathy, address self-regulation, develop executive functioning, and manage emotion and learning through the building of relationship skills. Emotional literacy begins with the ability to know or identify your feelings. To help students develop this skill, teachers can use the Find Your Face strategy, which presents students with various images of people, emojis, or animals like the one shown here, and asks them to select the image that best expresses how they are currently feeling. Through discussion of their choice, students learn to label and describe their emotions. Empathy helps students understand and relate to the feelings of others. One way that secondary teachers can help students develop empathy is through the use of history journals. This strategy asks students to imagine themselves into a historical context and then journal about what they might be thinking or feeling as they, for instance, prepare to enter Ellis Island on their immigration journey to the United States. It can be seamlessly implemented into social studies and creative writing curriculums. When we are dealing with powerful emotions, we all need strategies to help us regulate and refocus. Sometimes, encouraging students to use mindful breathing can be enough to redirect their attention. But at other times, students may need a cognitive distraction to help regulate a negative emotion. Allowing students to take a short, timed break when needed to work on a jigsaw puzzle in a corner of the room can be a powerful strategy for helping them regulate and refocus so that they're ready to learn. Executive function is our brain's office manager. It helps us organize, prioritize, and act upon information in appropriate and timely ways. One powerful strategy for helping secondary students develop executive functioning skills is to teach them how to use a planner to track assignments, due dates, and tests. Modeling these skills by keeping daily and weekly agendas on the board and allowing students time to fill in their planners throughout their day supports the development of these important skills. Healthy relationships are a key component of emotional literacy and emotional health. Social relationships are highly important to adolescents and they need to feel a sense of belonging in order to feel safe expressing their emotions. My favorite way to build relationships in a secondary classroom is through the question of the day strategy. This involves asking low threat questions such as what is your favorite ice cream topping to invite students into natural conversations where they can get to know each other in a low stress way. Emotional literacy skills help us to operate at our best. Students and teachers with higher levels of emotional literacy are more likely to have stronger relationships, better academic focus, improved memory, and improved mental health. By building these simple strategies for developing emotional literacy into our classroom practices, we are setting our students and ourselves up for higher levels of overall life satisfaction that can have a generational impact. For more information about emotional literacy and its impact on learning, please check out these references that I used to build this presentation.